The Honda Indy races into Toronto this weekend. That's right, and Ryan Hunter Ray won the race back in 2012, and he'll be chasing the checkered flag again on Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Always great to be back in Toronto. You know, it was a James Hinchcliffe sitting in this hot seat just a couple of days ago, and I noticed on Twitter you guys have some friendly banter back and forth going on. Uh, he always. said something about hitching his car to your car for a free ride. Yeah, it didn't quite work out that way, though. We had a pretty... <laughs> Dramatic exit from the last race, but yeah, Hinch and I are always going back and forth. Well, oh, there's the exchange right there. Where <laughs> pick he says, him up. It's a little dumb and dumber reference. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, can you talk a little bit about the Toronto track? Is there is there some challenges here that you know average racing fans wouldn't even really know about? Is there things that you kind of have to prep for? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys know the Toronto winters are pretty brutal, and that takes its toll on the roads and. We're racing on your city streets, and it's pretty bumpy. These cars are so low to the ground, they actually we actually hit the ground all the time on track. Wow. And so the cars are really stiff, and it makes for uh, a pretty tough time getting the most out of the tires, the grip level and stuff like that. But we, we, make, we make do with it. Sharp turns. Yeah, but it, you know what? This track makes for some great racing. That's what it's always been about here at Toronto, that long straightaway on Lakeshore Drive, heading into that really tight hairpin. It's, uh, it's made a lot of drivers become... <laughs> adversaries because of, that, <laughs> because of that situation. It makes for some great race and that's what the Toronto fans come out for. It pushes you to the limit because it's the bane of your existence to get through that thing, right? Absolutely. Working with Andretti's team, you know, him being a true superstar, any advice coming from them? Or? Yeah, we get advice. I mean, he doesn't push it in your face, but you can go ask him for it and he certainly, uh, he's always there to lend, lend advice when you need it. Um, the racing then and the cars then were, were quite a bit different than they are now, but the, the technique still applies to what, what actually works around this racetrack because the, the layout has stayed pretty much the same. Yeah. And you, uh, uh, you've, you won the race back in 2012. Um, and, you know, we've seen this year, too. I mean, we've seen some real parity in, in IndyCar, right? Like we've seen, I think, was it seven winners in ten races or something like sure, that? Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, Absolutely. You know, can you talk a little bit about how the, the competition level with this? If you're going to an Indy race, you're going to a real competition. It's not like one set winner every race. No, that's very true. The Verizon IndyCar Series, any given weekend, you can have a number of maybe 12 different drivers that can win. That's the beautiful thing about this series is you can never really pick a winner. It's not like um, you know a Formula One race. You can pick yeah, one or two guys, and you got a 99% sure chance one of those guys is going to win. This, it's, it's coming from anywhere in the field, and that's the beautiful thing about this series. You never know what you're going to get that way, and every team has a shot on Sunday. And that makes a big difference as a driver, knowing that when you get in the car on Sunday, you've got a good shot at winning. And I love that your family is such a huge part of this for you, and you love to gear down, as it were, in Fort Lauderdale. You love boating. You've been stung by jellyfish countless times. What are you doing, taunting them? Like, come and get me. <laughs> no. How does this happen to you? It's part of being in the ocean, I guess. But, you know, here, so, here and there, you get stung by jellyfish. So is it true, the whole friends thing, where you have to pee on someone? Well, so you know, we, we keep a bottle of vinegar on the boat oh, just okay. for that purpose right. so we can avoid that entirely because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going down there. <laughs> no What's way. your advice? With because you've been your sharks. What do you do? Uh, you know, you, you don't provoke them. I guess is the biggest thing. Uh, that's that's number one. I guess one. that would be key. Don't right? provoke I mean, them. Let's yeah. not anger like, the what sharks. What about like screaming and then no, like, that doesn't work. Yeah, don't do no, that, that doesn't no, work. No, no, okay, no. that's good. To know. Slow <laughs> movement, the less movement possible. Hopefully, yeah. people will be screaming for you. Of course, this weekend. Also, Thank that you. cute picture we showed was just one of your adorable sons. You have two, and one of them's already showing a wild side. I hear. Oh yeah, yes. Uh, the youngest one, I think, is going to be the possibly going to be the race car driver. I'm in trouble if these kids want to become race car drivers because I just want them to play golf or tennis or something like that. That's oh. my. You don't want them to do anything dangerous. I just, yeah, not motorsports. Okay. No, no. Do as I say, well, not as I do. As long as they do what they love, though, yeah. I'm, I'm with it. I'll Best of luck it. with that because they're definitely going to be race car drivers. Yeah. Thank you, very much. <laughs> you did it to your parents. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Their dad's the coolest and it's karma. It comes exactly. back around. Exactly. Cheer on Ryan at the 2016 Honda Indy Toronto. Catch the race Sunday on Sportsnet 360. Thank you so much. Right now, we're just ham in the newsroom.